job of a parts specialist is to sort through the information provided by the customer and translate that into a single part number that addresses the problem they're trying to solve. But it's important to avoid the tendency of thinking in terms of individual pieces as opposed to complete systems. Remember, each part number works in conjunction with many other parts and components to make up a complete system, and many systems make up each individual vehicle. As a counter professional, it's good to get in the habit of asking the right questions to be sure that your customer has properly diagnosed the problem from a systems perspective and to be sure you're selling them the right part to address the issue. This is especially true when we're talking about vehicle electronics. One of the first things you want to ask is something along the lines of, what's the reason for the purchase? As for why that's such an important question, let's use the powertrain control module, or PCM, as an example. Your customers might know this by a different acronym like ECC for Engine and Control Computer, but for the sake of simplicity, we'll call it a PCM in this video. The PCM is the electronic brain that controls almost everything the engine does. But it's also involved in a lot of things that reach far beyond the engine itself, like the body control module, anti-lock braking system and traction control, electronic steering, climate control, lighting modules, and keyless entry. It communicates with these and other subsystems to share information data and interactive functions. Take the anti-theft system as an example. When a motorist enters their vehicle, the PCM looks for a coded signal from a key fob or the key itself. With late model push button start applications, the PCM won't activate the starter if it doesn't see the correct code from the key fob. With older keyed ignitions, the PCM won't energize the fuel pump circuit if the key code isn't correct. Consequently, no start problems can be caused by communication issues between the PCM, ignition switch, and key or key fob, by a fault in the PCM's anti-theft circuitry, or by a problem in the starter, ignition, or fuel delivery system. That's why accurate diagnosis of any suspected PCM-related fault is so important. If your customer says they need a replacement PCM due to a no-start situation, the PCM is only one of many different possible causes. The onboard diagnostic system can detect many kinds of internal PCM faults, but some PCM problems won't set a fault code and can only be diagnosed by a process of elimination. This is a tricky situation, and unfortunately, some do-it-yourselfers and professional technicians could possibly jump to conclusions prematurely and pinpoint the PCM before they've ruled out all of the other possibilities. Consequently, they replace the PCM only to discover the newly installed PCM doesn't fix the problem. It's also important to keep in mind that many drivability and emissions problems can be addressed simply by reflashing the PCM with updated software from the vehicle manufacturer. Electronic throttle bodies are another potential source of misdiagnosis. It's important to understand that other areas of the vehicle's control system may cause throttle-related problems that aren't necessarily caused by the electronic throttle control system. For example, a fault in a wheel speed sensor could affect the throttle opening. Another important question to ask your customer is, are you comfortable with non-plug-and-play units? If they're buying a PCM, a body control module, or even an electronic throttle body, it's highly likely that those items are not going to work right out of the box. A replacement PCM, for example, is going to require reprogramming and initialization. A replacement electronic throttle body likely will require a relearn procedure before the vehicle will run properly. The same goes for replacement body control modules. The complexity of these procedures will vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, so it's important for your customer to consult the model-specific service information to make sure they're doing it right. Today's vehicles are more reliant on computers and electronics than ever before, and diagnosis needs to be performed from a systems perspective. As counter professionals, asking the right questions can go a long way toward ensuring your customers are confident in their diagnosis and have the right part to solve the problem. Thanks for watching.